Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. Well, it's uh, kind of part two video for the Glock 26 adoption. And today what I want to talk about are uh, some of the magazine accessories that I've ran across. So I'm, I'm really starting to enjoy this pistol. It conceals well. And uh, for pistol in this size, it, it is actually a lot of fun to shoot. Um, I have an MMP 9C that is similar in size to this and it's very shootable but with the smaller magazines it's uh, you know it's a good self-defense gun but uh, it's not a lot of fun at the range where this gun can be which is kind of fun so um, I've got a couple of magazine accessories and uh, let's talk about those so to start with this is a Glock 26 magazine with the Pierce floor plate extension on it so this adds no additional capacity to the magazine you're still at 10 rounds. Uh, this is the Pierce magazine extension that is a, for the Glock 26, they claim it's supposed to be plus two. And here is the actual uh, Glock factory extension. So I just, I ordered this magazine with the extension already on it, which adds two rounds. And this is the Glock 19 magazine with the AG clip extender on it. Or clip extender, grip extender on it. And uh, that allows you a 15 round capacity. So let's kind of run them down. Um, they all function, they all work. Um, the, let's start with the, uh, with the pierce that doesn't add any capacity. So this works really well for my hand. Take it back up here. Um, as far as giving me the, the good pinky rest that, that I'm after, um, it feels plenty solid um, and fairly comfortable. Now you get no serrations, no added gripping or anything to this extension, uh, which is actually kind of nice. I, I, kind, I, I kind of like that extra grip on there for your pinky. Um, the, here is the plus two extender from Pierce and it does give you a little bit of grip and it, and it matches, uh, the style of the actual, um, pistol itself. So, uh, a little better, a little more solid. Here is the Glock extension, which again, no texturing, um, but it actually, kind of fills out the grip better, I think, than the Pierce extensions. And then finally, the Glock 19 magazine with the ANG grip extender. So again, no, no serrations, no, no texturing here. Um, but it does give you a kind of a full feel in the hand. Uh, the, my first observation about all of these is this gap in here. So they all kind of suffer from this. And you'll see it on the back here as well. Um, the first thing that I've noticed is where my pinky rides. I don't know if you can see that, but where my pinky rides, uh, I actually find that occasionally while shooting the gun, I get pinched on my pinky. Now, if you've got slightly bigger hands, your pinky might ride a little lower. And that might not be a problem for you, but if you're like me and you've got the doll hands, uh, that pinching can be kind of a pain. It, it is pretty pronounced in this, uh, in this extender with the uh, Glock 19 magazine. Um, of course, you know, the, just using the magazine by itself isn't so bad in this gun. So I, I don't know that this is uh, something I will use a lot. Um, let's talk about the Pierce products. So this one's not too bad. This is the, the, uh, just the straight extender with no added capacity, but it does still have this gap right here. And I do find that occasionally as the, the, you can see, and turn around, you can see that that magazine fle flexes in there a little bit. And when that happens, when I'm shooting, I get pinched. Um, with the capacity extension, it's not quite as bad because they've they've done a little lip here and the flex doesn't seem to be near as pronounced, but it does still happen. I still get pinched. 
And finally, the Glock magazine, not near as bad. The uh, magazine extension comes up under this lip and there still is a little potential for that, for that pinching, but you don't get near as much flex with it. And because they've tucked it up under this lip, it's not as big a problem. So let's go back to the table here for a minute and show you uh, another interesting thing. If you're a, a Maglula user, which um, for most magazines, I'm a big fan and proponent of the Eplula because, again, I, I, you know, I, I've got the, the doll hands, the computer nerd hands, and they're not the strongest things in the world. But So one of the things about these extensions, if you use these, is it tilts your magazine in a funny direction. So you'll find that you're tilted back when you're trying to load these, which is a little different than um, you can see by comparison. This is the Glock 19 magazine. Um, it's tilted forward, so it makes the loading a little awkward. It's just a comment. Um, all of them provide that tilt to some degree, and so it does change the cant of the magazine when you're trying to load them. Uh, let's see, what else? Okay, uh, let's get to... The actual capacity. So we all know this is a, a Glock 19 magazine that will hold 15. So the, the this is the Glock extended, which is purported to add 12 or two extra rounds to the 10 round capacity. So let's do that. Two, three, four, five, six. So this is a, a new gun. And the magazines are new, so keep that in mind. Oops. So there's 10, 11, and 12 goes in, but you got to crank it down. So that, I'd, it's not a big surprise. Um, it's a new magazine. They tend to they tend to do that when they're new. The springs will wear in. Now, uh, you know, the, it has an extension, so you're your capacity indicator says you've got 10 rounds. Um, you actually do have 12 in there. You saw me load it. So, got 12 rounds on that. This is the uh, uh, the just the grip extension from Pierce. So we're only going to get 10 out in this guy. Ten goes in pretty easy, so that's it. You get ten. All right. So uh, this is the the Pierce uh, Plus Two, or supposed to be Plus Two. Um, I did install this myself, and that's one of the things I've learned uh, since doing this about the Glock magazines. All my other magazines are uh, for for other guns have always been fairly easy to disassemble and to work on. The Glock magazines are a bit of a pain. So let's see what the capacity is here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve isn't going to go in. So, um, you know, the, I think the jury's out on whether this is supposed to actually allow you a uh, 12th round or not. Um, I can only get 11 in, in it. Uh, could I have installed it incorrectly? Sure, that's possible, but I, I think it's on there right. I, everything seems to fit. I think it just doesn't, doesn't give that 12th round. So um, maybe uh, some folks with more experience from, with these Pierce uh, magazines uh, can talk about that, but that's what I'm getting. Um, I do notice that you can see the the base plate doesn't doesn't come all the way over the back of the magazine, and that's the case with both the extender and the uh, and the non-extended. Um, the non-plus am round uh, I didn't install that actually. My uh, uh, the gunsmith I use he put that on for me so. 
uh, he knows his Glock, so I'm sure that's on there right. Well, there you go. Let's shoot a few rounds, and, uh, and then we'll uh, finish up. Okay, so you can see right there, it's actually pinching on most of these magazines right there on my, on my, uh, on this finger is where I'm feeling it. Uh, in particular, the Glock 19 mag with this AG extension on it, um, it's pinching me real bad just right, right there. You can see how it lines up right on that spot where the indentations are on my finger. So your mileage may vary. Um, this is obviously related to the size of my hand. If, if your fingers didn't line right up there, if your fingers didn't line right up there, you probably would not have that problem. Um, or it may not be as severe for you, but you know, if you've got gripping surface in that space, you, you probably are gonna see yourself getting pinched is my guess. It certainly is uncomfortable for me. So for, for me, this product's coming off. Uh, this is not something I'm, I'm going to use. It just doesn't add anything other than uh, actually making the gun harder to shoot. Um, probably, surprisingly enough, uh, this one here is the uh, Plus One extension from Pierce. And um, it actually is, is surprisingly comfortable. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with this one. The non, uh, the, the, the one that doesn't add any extended rounds, it's still doing some pinching in that same spot. Um, so not a, not a huge fan. I, I mean, it'll work, uh, but you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a pain getting pinched. And then the Glock magazine, you know, it, it does a little bit of the same, uh, but it's not near as bad. So, for me, uh, either the Plus One Pierce extension or the Glock extension is what I'll be using. Um, I'm, I am a fan of these extensions. I, I need, because of the size of my hands, I need that pinky rest. I can shoot this gun fine without it, but um, I can't think of a time where I would choose not to add that rest onto the gun. So... So there you go, part two of my of my Glock 26 adoption. I really like the gun. Uh, Glenn Jefferson did a great job on the trigger. Um, it conceals well. I've uh, I've started putting it in my rotation for carry when I'm wearing uh, thin thin or light clothing. So that works out really well. I love the fact that I'm dealing with. Uh, guns that all have kind of similar triggers and a similar feel and, a, and the same sight picture that's uh, already paying dividends in even with the, the uh, limited number of rounds I've got through it. So that's that's a huge deal. Um, I've got plenty of, of doodads and gizmos. My, my wife calls it the my, my $15 doodad habit uh, to go through on the Glocks. So look for me to uh, do more videos about the things that I find useful. Um, and I, you know, I hope you find uh, my experience with the grip extensions useful to you. Uh, but again, your mileage may vary with all hands. So, uh, you know, for my father-in-law, he's got these big, ham he's literally ham-fisted. Um, you know, he, I, I don't know how he gets anything done. 
I, I'm pretty sure you can't pick his nose because those fingers are just huge. Um, but uh, it, it doesn't seem to bother him. He doesn't get this pinching thing. Um, of course, his his hands are also made of leather. So um, if I had leather hands, I suppose that would, that would help. But I don't. Um, so there you go. Always remember, anyone can shoot. Anyone can shoot with a, a grip extension on your Glock 26 and get a little pinching if you've got doll hands. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you.